Seriously. A tennis playing robot? It's fantasy. And remember, it's all about intimidation. Got it. Hello, Taylor. Hey, kiddo, what's up? I just thought it was time that you and I met for a little chow down, down at the Lucky Sunshine. Is this what I think it is? You know it. I can't believe you remembered my birthday. Oh, it's your birthday. Happy birthday, Mr. Birthday Boy. It's Taylor's birthday. Oh, we should get him a cake. Intimidation. Yeah? Well, birthdays come every year, so don't get your tidies in a tizzy. This is about you and me and hot and sour. Oh, I see. It's time to face the master, is it? Okay, baby tongue, how about noon? Perfect. Be prepared to be humiliated. What was that? I said, prepare to be humiliated. Why are you saying it like that? Because I'm Millie, it's my name. Humiliated. Ah, good one. Uh, okay, see you at noon. I'm back from lunch. Sorry I took so long, but I got you a new mug. I don't even sail. Who is this, or Disco Diva? I got that for myself. Crystal, this is Daniel Rathbird. He is the author of the Lovebot manuscript that you like so much. Hello. Lovebot's been getting a lot of attention from our rivals, but with some healthy negotiations, Mr. Rathbird has agreed to come on board with us at Hedison House. You're signing him to a contract? Well, we could spit and shake hands, but I don't think that'd hold up legally. Oh. <laughs> I need to talk to you right now. Excuse us. Mm -hmm. You can't sign him to a contract. Why not? I thought you loved his manuscript. I never read Daniel. it. I never read any of them. I also broke the shredder. What has the shredder got to do with this? Nothing. I was just on a roll confessing stuff. But what about all that stuff you said? Anna said those things. She read the manuscript. So I am basing this whole deal on what the plant lady said? Yeah, I know. Not your smartest move. Yeah. Uh, that was just my agent. He's suggesting that we... Uh, deal's off. Hit the bricks. Because, because you're, you're the birthday boy. boy. All right, let's do this. We took the liberty of ordering some appetizers. Hope you don't mind. Not at all. And so it begins. Valiant effort. <laughs> Foolish mortal. But not enough. <clears throat> oh, what's this? <coughs> oh, look at this! <coughs> I win! I mean, we win! I mean, you win! Millie? Were there nuts in that sauce? I don't know. I'm allergic to nuts. Oh, well, that's probably why you're... Oh! Epipen! Epipen! Right pocket! Is everything okay? He's allergic to nuts! Oh! Baby buddy! <laughs> on the one hand, I'm mad at you for not reading the manuscripts. But on the other, 
I'm relieved you told me before I signed that contract. I had to tell you. That was the stupidest thing I ever read. A robot in love with a ball launcher, no less. You dodged a bullet. Johnny Depp looks hot in silver. Oh, shut up. Shh. I can't hear the robots. Well, I think we all learned a little something today. I learned that I, too, can be overly competitive sometimes. Taylor? Yeah. Humiliation. It's still not funny. Missy Grumpaloo was chosen by the village to fight the big-headed dragon who lived on Hot Rock Mountain. But the big-headed dragon could breathe fire, and Missy didn't know what to do. So she pulled out a sandwich she was saving for lunch and offered it to the dragon. But the peanut butter made the dragon sick. And even though they were fighting, Missy visited him in the hospital every day. And when the dragon was all better, he burned Missy's house down because dragons are jerks.